walked around our school grounds and found a lot of cigarette butts and graffiti. This picture shows cigarette trash thrown on Grass Valley Charter School playground. This is bad role modeling for kids. Children are influenced by others who are older. It's also ironic that this brand says respect for the earth on the package when it's bad for your health and the health of the planet. This photo shows how marketers are advertising tobacco products right above the ice cream so it attracts kids. They're targeting youth and want to make money off of children and teens. Our class went on a walk in downtown Grass Valley and we visited gas stations and stores and we were surprised to see advertising for tobacco products right above the ice cream so kids who see it might want to try that too. This photo shows that store owners are following the law and maybe do care about kids not smoking. They are still under control of the company so they can pay their rent. Right behind the sign is another ad for cigarettes. So it warns kids but also promotes smoking at the same time. Tobacco companies now spend more than 95% of their marketing budget, nearly $8.7 billion a year, to saturate convenience stores, gas stations, and other retail outlets. What I see in this picture is false advertising, bright colors, and untrue advertisement of natural tobacco and additive-free cigarettes. Because it looks more appealing, you think it's not gonna harm your life, but it is. It's false advertising and it's lying to you. Their bright colors really attract young children as well. Studies show that bright colors actually attract your brain even more. I noticed on our walk that companies sell tobacco products right under the candy on the top of the counter. They sell the products in flavors so that they look better and make you want to buy them. The great flavor and the bright colors attract people. I see a lot of black mild and vape products. It exists because tobacco companies want to make money and they are still willing to sell a product even though it takes away lives and it's bad for, for your health. Tobacco companies pay stores to ensure that cigarettes and other tobacco products are advertised heavily, displayed prominently, and priced cheaply to appeal to both kids and current tobacco users. This photo shows a power wall. It's tobacco company lingo for a spot for tobacco products placed right near the counter. We learned that tobacco companies pay sto store owners bonuses to have their products displayed on the power wall. I feel this manipulates both the owners and the customers. Today's teenagers uh, is tomorrow's potential regular customer. An overwhelming majority of smokers first begin to smoke while they're in their teens. March 31st, 1981, Philip Morris Report. That is a big tobacco business, talking about customers that aren't, and not even caring about kids, I mean, seriously. In this photo, there's tobacco at eye level. It's very cheap and kids can see it. When you walk into the gas station and you want to buy like a bag of chips or like a soda or something, you can see tobacco right at eye level um, and it's a bad influence on kids. If the price is higher, people uh, might stop buying it and may even quit smoking. Um, tobacco companies are trying to market to young people because they're easier to target. This photo has cigarettes, vape, and chew, and sale signs. A cigarillo can be 69 cents, and a two-pack can be a dollar. They also look like candy. If they sold them in higher numbers, packaged together, they would cost more, and kids would be less tempted to buy them. Also, if they didn't look like candy, they would be less attractive. We call this picture tobacco everywhere you go. I was very surprised to see cheap pricing for flavored cigars and chew. It was everywhere in the store. Yeah, I know. What kid doesn't have a dollar in their pocket to give someone older, like a brother or stranger, to buy them? I feel like the tobacco companies purposely make them cheap and in flavors kids like. I think if we raised the price and made them less accessible, it would deter kids from starting or trying these products. Mm -hmm.